This video explains how to multiply the column of a data frame by a number using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with the lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see that we have created a data frame containing two columns, which are called x1 and x2, and five rows. So let's assume that we want to multiply the column x1 by the value 100. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line six. So in this line of code, I'm specifying the name of our data frame. And then I'm using the dollar operator to extract the values of our first column x1. And then I'm multiplying these values by the number 100. So if you run line six of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that a new vector object has been returned, which contains the values of our column x1 times 100. We might also add these values as a new column to our data frame, as you can see in line eight of the code. So in this line of code, I'm once again using the dollar operator to create a new variable, which is called x1 underscore multi. And then I'm assigning to this new variable the output of the multiplication of the column x1 times 100. So if you run line eight of the code, our data frame is updated, as you can see by printing the data once again to the RStudio console. So after running these lines of code, you can see that our new data frame contains an additional column, which is called x1 multi. And this column contains the values of the column x1 times 100. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.